artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a giraffe. The giraffe is one of the first things that I drew. My mom has a picture that I drew when I was four and it's her favorite thing and it was a giraffe. So I'm really excited to show you very simple, easy to follow giraffe. Are you ready? Okay, let's draw. First thing we're going to do is start off with our head shape. Up here, kind of at the top of your paper, I want you to just draw a curved line and stop. Okay, now I love, I think the thing I love about giraffes are those little knobs they have on their head. So, what we're going to do is just do two lines up, and then we're just going to draw a couple short lines like that. Okay? Now just draw a little bit of space in between and then do that again. Two straight lines up and some little lines out. Okay, now giraffes also have ears. This ear we're going to put over here, this curve that way. I'm just going to do a little curve and then a little bit of a bigger one. Okay, let's try that one more time so you can see. I'm just going to go out with a curve and just a little curve and then a bigger one until I reach my head. Now if your head didn't reach there, you can just connect it at any time. Remember, if you make a mistake, it's okay. Keep drawing and make it your own. Okay, now let's draw that long neck. We're going to come down and down. And notice that my line is going to get a little bit bigger as I come towards the body. Okay, for the back, we're just going to draw a curved line and we'll just stop right there for now. And curved line right here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to draw some really great giraffe legs. All right, starting right here, not, not on this line, but a little bit over, I'm going to come down, I'm going to go curve out just a little bit where their knees are, and down. Okay, now let's come over on this side, and I'm going to curve out just a little, and go down, around, down. Okay, now this leg is right next to it, so we only have to draw one side of it. We're just going to come down, curve, and down. Okay, and now we have two legs there. All right, let's do the back leg. We're going to come up here just a little bit, and we're going to come down. So that, see how we made that line kind of come in? And now we'll go straight down like we did before, and we'll try to put our knee at the same place. Curve out and down. And then this back leg, we've got to do something first. We've got to draw the tummy. Okay, let's just draw a line right there to connect our legs, because this leg's on the other side of the tummy. And then we'll just come from the back, and we'll just follow this one. We'll go down, around, and down. Okay, there we have four legs. Now, we are just going to draw some lines here right at the bottom. And for the, the feet, we're just going to draw a W. So we're just going to go down, up, down, up, and down, up, down, up. Same thing with the back feet. Down, up, down, up. Those W's make very good hoofs. Okay, now we need a tail, and our tails are quite skinny. So I'm just going to draw a line, and then I'm going to make the same lines that I did on those little horns or tufts up there. Just some straight lines out like that. And then they also have a really nice short mane. So using those same lines that we've done before, I want you to draw short strokes all the way down this side of the giraffe's neck. Okay, are you with me? You're doing a great job? I'm sure you are. Let's add the face. Let's do two circles down here for our nostrils. And giraffes have big eyes with long eyelashes to keep out all that dust. So we're going to draw a circle with a colored in circle like this. Okay, one more over here, a circle, and then we'll color that in. And then we're going to draw a line across the eye like that. Just a little bit curved and across this eye like that. If you want to add a little bit of eyelashes, you can. Okay, what's missing? Just the spots, right? Now you can draw round spots or you can make them a little bit wiggly and we're going to just go all the way down the neck. What I like to do is do some big and then I'll fit in a small one. So watch me for a minute and see what I do. So I'm going to do kind of a big one here and a big one here and then I'll notice I have a space and I'll just fill it in. 
So I'll kind of do some bigger spots like this. And they can get a little bit bigger as they get to the giraffe's back. And then I'll just kind of go back and see where do I have a spot that's a little empty. And I'll add something in there that just fits right in between. Okay. Now I can get even bigger on his back and towards his legs. And you don't really need to do them on his tummy. And then as you do the legs, they can get smaller again like the neck. So as you go down, you can make them a little bit smaller. And you see what I'm doing here on the legs? I'm not even drawing a whole circle. I'm just doing a curve. So I kind of fill in a half circle like this. And then we know that those are still spots. So a half circle here, half circle here, like that. And maybe a little circle when you can fit it in. Draw a couple more half circles here. And we have our giraffe. Now, I think we can do one more thing. I think we can add a few spots on their face. They still have spots up here. So I'm going to add a couple of those spots up here on the head and the ears. And that's how you draw a giraffe. You guys did a great job today. Remember that you are a great artist. Keep drawing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.